dear students welcome to epg parshala and e content project under the national mission on education through ict i am professor seva singh former head department of library and information science guru nanak dev university amritsar today we will talk about the module academic library services this module is part of the course academic library system <coughs> academic library undertakes some important activities such as developing a balanced up to date collection recruiting staff and designing physical infrastructure these elements lay the foundation of library services for users strength of academic library lies in the strength of its services emphasis is now shifting from mere collection building to providing access to information library services should be developed after assessing information needs of users library services therefore must be evaluated and revised in changing perspective of the users about the library therefore planning of academic library services should work within the parameters of objectives and mission of the parent institution objectives of college and university are uh, to enhance educational abilities of students and undertake research academic library therefore has to plan such services as as would help teachers research scholars post graduate students etc while planning uh, library services some factors the library professionals may take into consideration are that uh, their present information and literature needs must be taken into view library services have also to take into consideration the prospective information needs because if the library services have to be improved in future then prospective information needs and their assessment would be much more helpful information needs do not remain constant rather they go on changing with the change in time and other factors these are influenced by various factors such as external and internal environment user community governing framework social factors etc external environment plays a important role in planning process in planning process of library services it brings in uh, many factors which play their own role in changing library services these are technological forces social forces economic forces we may discuss these one by one technological forces the ict now form have brought in various technological systems structures tools etc users in this environment 
are becoming computer literate. Libraries also are using IT, IT-based networks, etc., to meet uh, users' changing needs. So these are some of the technological forces which constitute the external environment and affect the user's information behavior. Second uh, factor is social forces. These contribute to change in information needs of users. For example, change in uh, their projects, research topics, etc. as a result of inflationary situation, increase in prices of daily needs, and other social problems confronting the society. All these put together do have impact upon the thought process of the user community and they accordingly go on changing their information needs and information seeking behavior. Third factor is uh, economic forces. Adequate availability of uh, financial resources to faculty and library helps to expand the base of library services. New research projects undertaken by the faculty and other searchers lead to change in information needs. But uh, in the present era of uh, budgetary cuts, the X falls on library. Library and its services are therefore adversely affected. Internal environment, to some extent, internal environment also plays important role in shaping the information needs of users. It may be user community itself. So user surveys, user studies must be undertaken to determine their needs. This will help library staff to match the needs with information resources available. Governing framework is another internal environment factor which should be taken care of. While planning library services, <coughs> policies of governing bodies need to be encouraging. The development of resources, manpower, financial resources, physical and uh, other sources is linked with the governing framework of the institution. After planning library services, these are to be managed for proper delivery. Principles of management of library services are in three stages which should be taken care of while delivering the services. Planning. It includes uh, forecasting, making policies, setting objectives, etc. Organizing and coordinating. It includes resources, developing structures, integrating activities, etc. And uh, third is controlling, which includes setting up a feedback mechanism to ensure it is working as per plan developed by the library. Another way, as uh, stated by Peter Drucker, another way of looking at management of library services is setting objectives, organizing, motivating and communicating, measuring, and developing people. The last two categories, namely measuring and developing people, are very important in the context of library services because they 
directly impact the customers who are the end users of library services. Academic library services must be well organized and well managed to make them effective for users. This will help changing the perception of users about the library. Users must realize that they are the real kings. All the activities, processes, procedures, services developed and designed, products developed, they revolve around these real kings in the form of the end users. While uh, organizing the library services in large academic library looks at this aspect and organizing and organizes the following types of library services reference services bibliographical services user education referral services resource sharing indexing and abstracting services bibliographic services and so on dear students the various library services which are organized in academic library let us now discuss them one by one reference service is uh, the most important service organized in academic library it is the process of establishing contact between reader and book by personal service some human agency in the form of reference librarian is required to establish contact between reader and book reference librarian performs uh, such uh, services as initiation of the fresh reader directional instruction given to general readers is a sort of general help to the readers ready reference service and long range reference service reference service can be categorized into two types namely ready reference service and long range reference service the two can be differentiated on the basis of uh, at least three points namely time involved in rendering service material used and nature of information bibliographical services is another important service the utility of traditional bibliographic services is still intact in many academic libraries the application of it has facilitated efficient compilation of these services some of these services compiled in academic libraries include list of new editions as and when new books are procured in the library their listing is done for the benefit of the users second list of contents generally it refers to the contents of journals their photocopy is uh, taken and a list is prepared to be, to be circulated among us the users ad hoc lists are prepared by the library from time to time depending upon the immediate needs for example uh, it may be on the theme of a seminar or conference or a workshop or uh, a refresher course etc user education is uh, important in academic library and its importance lies in providing library user necessary skills and knowledge in making optimum use of library resources so this is uh, from this point of view very important because it will in the long run go to put to use not only the services but various sources available in the library user education is uh, known by many terms such as uh, library orientation bibliographic instruction initiation information literacy etc if we discuss these one by one 
then library orientation remains the most popular method of imparting user education in academic libraries. It is targeted at freshly admitted students to familiarize them with the library, its rules, layout, services, location of various sources, etc. Some of the methods of library orientation followed in academic libraries include direct methods like uh, giving lecture to a group of students, library tour, taking the group of students or group of users around the library and to show them the organization of various uh, sections in the library, individual help which is extended by the reference library at the reference desk, tutorial can also be organized for uh, user groups. There are some indirect methods also which are equally useful, for example, uh, use, use of videos, films, slides, printed guides, self-instruction material, etc. When these are delivered to students or shown to students, obviously they would come to know about the library, its sources and services. Bibliographic instruction. It is designed and planned by the librarian to teach students about library resources and services so as to motivate them to make effective use and satisfy their needs. The purpose has been to stimulate and guide students and other users in developing understanding of library and increasing competence in the use of library resources and services. Bibliographic instruction program has uh, three guiding principles. That is, uh, it is course related or uh, demonstrated and uh, graduated. Such a program, if adopted, may prove most helpful in infusing information seeking habits and enabling users to be independent in self-service in locating information at any future point of time. If we discuss these one by one, then library orientation remains the most popular method of imparting user education in academic libraries. It is targeted at freshly admitted students to familiarize them with the library, its rules, layout, services, location of various sources, etc. Some of the methods of library orientation followed in academic libraries include direct methods like uh, giving lecture to a group of students, library tour, taking the group of students or group of users around the library and to show them the organization of various uh, sections in the library, individual help which is extended by the reference library at the reference desk, tutorial can also be organized for uh, user groups. There are some indirect methods also which are equally useful, for example, uh, use, use of videos, films, slides, printed guides, self-instruction material, etc. 
when these are delivered to students or shown to obviously they would come to know about the library its sources and services bibliographic instruction it is designed and planned by the librarian to teach students about library resources and services so as to motivate them to make effective use and satisfy their needs the purpose has been to stimulate and guide students and other users in developing understanding of library and increasing competence in the use of library resources and services bibliographic instruction program has uh, three guiding principles that is uh, course related or uh, demonstrated and uh, graduated such a program if adopted may prove most helpful in infusing information seeking habits and enabling users to be independent and self service in locating information at any future point of time information literacy is a concept which has its roots in user education or user instruction however the emergence of information society and other changes in technology to generate disseminate and access information has led to the concept of information literacy it is the ability to locate evaluate manage and use information from a range of sources for problem solving decision making and research libraries must transfer new skills and competencies needed in the digital library environment through information literacy program referral service is another important service offered in academic libraries sometimes when users needs are not met from the internal documentary collection in that case they may be referred to resources of other libraries this is called referral service it directs or refers the user to a source of information which may be a document an individual or uh, an organization it's the process of linking the user with a service or person or organization which is likely to meet the needs the referring library must possess detailed knowledge of the resources with a chance of reasonable success therefore suggested that uh, the referring library must compile a database of such helpful individuals organizations and other libraries etc resource sharing and networks now are becoming popular particularly when libraries are unable to meet user needs from their own collection they are unable to buy because of high rate of uh, publication shrinking budgets costly material obviously therefore libraries have to depend upon the documentary sources of other libraries as well this calls for resource sharing earlier called as library cooperation for exploiting resources in other libraries resource sharing provides basic framework for pooling sharing putting to use minds of information available libraries have to design union catalogs to locate documents in different libraries it is here that infolibnet is actively engaged in this type of activity and is extending all help to users all over to find out the necessary documents in other library
concept of uh, cooperation and resource sharing has been further extended through participation in networks at national and international level some networks have been developed in india in which academic libraries are participating these include infolibnet delnet irnet indest etc they provide access to distance databases this has led to another concept of consortium where a group of libraries join hands with common interest it's a cooperative arrangement among groups or institutes to expand resources availability indexing services are other important services which are most frequently used sources of information the value of indexing services lies in furthering the cause of research these services provide current information services retrospective literature search quick retrieval of information or uh, uh, references etc the purpose of preparing in house indexing service is to fill in the time gap until the receipt of commercially available service indexing service may be initiated in subject areas for which commercial services are either not received in time in the library or are not available at all large university libraries must take initiative and motivate staff to produce such services so as to serve the needs of researchers faculty etc reprographic services these services have become indispensable to support teaching and research activities photocopying service particularly has become quite popular among academic library users these are useful even in uh, document delivery service under source sharing microforms are equally useful for preserving material providing uh, readable copies increasing accessibility reducing the storage problem and so on now with change in time and impact of uh, technology particularly information and chemical technology it seems that it has become to have major impact on academic library services in 21st century library services have become more proactive than what they used to be earlier impact of uh, it is seen in providing efficient and effective library services these help to control rapid growth of information facilitating cooperation and so on it not only changed but speeded up the services in many areas these areas of it impact include formats of documents formats of documents have changed or rather changing from printed to digital format operational activities such as housekeeping etc are also changing online public access catalog is the direct result of direct impact of it in libraries management process has also undergone a change access to information resources has been further facilitated as a result of it impact online databases are now easily and readily available current awareness services have been designed and developed differently quickly with the help of it tools library networks have been developed as a result of all these impacts of it the face and nature of library services has been considerably changing 
particularly during the present times. With the, this background, librarians must evaluate or librarians rather desire to evaluate services they provide to their users to know the quality. Evaluation of library services depends upon the quality of reference collection and reference personnel. Good reference collection may result in good library services. Therefore, reference collection must also be evaluated from time to time so as to know the strength and the weakness of such collection so that the reference librarian could help in building a balanced and uh, better reference collection to serve the users better. Approachable, wrapped listener librarian also enhances the quality of reference services. Evaluation methods of uh, library and uh, or reference services may be questionnaire, surveys, observation, interview, etc. If these methods are followed in the library, Obviously, not only the quality of evaluation of reference services, but also the reference collection and the reference staff could be improved. With this, dear students, we can sum up the module which discusses about the need of library services in academic libraries for users. These services are integrate integral part of academic library system. For planning these services, it is necessary to assess information, behavior and needs of users. Management of library services is linked with planning. And uh, <clears throat> the module discusses about the organization of various types of library services such as reference surveys, bibliographic surveys, resource sharing, networking, and so on. It describes about the impact of IT on library services and their current status, presents the need for evaluation of library and information services to improve them in future and also to know their present situation. And uh, it suggests Evaluation of reference collection, reference personnel, and reference services to measure the strengths and weaknesses of library services. Once these are known to the librarian and library professionals, obviously they are likely to improve the library services for their users in the times to come and meet with the expectations of users for their betterment. Thank you very much.